Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak all about fighting, all about war and in order for especially free-to-play players and tier 4 players to be uh, to be able to have some fun during the battlefield you need to be prepared uh, simply because if you are not prepared you will be able to send only a couple of legions and you won't be able to have enough troops to fight for a long time. Uh, and for it's pretty simple, longer you fight there is a more chance of getting uh, more merits for yourself as you can see as a free to play player uh, somehow I managed to have 3 million merits like close to so like this season I have been doing only fighting so I kind of got like enough experience to speak about this topic first of all what's important to know uh, is to give to how to get ready in general for the fighting first step is to have your uh, heroes ready uh, I mean ready whenever there is a reset uh, during the seasons. Your main aim should be to level up your uh, fighting heroes uh, to level 50. Simply because after that you won't be able to use your books of experience and only way for you to uh, like generate experience for your heroes is to simply just fight and uh, killing darklings. And even though like you will be killing Darklings uh, pretty fine, uh, like it's a great way of generating experience, but uh, if you are a fighter, you don't have enough time uh, for killing Darklings because your hospital is like generally full uh, and you only prioritizing to getting uh, merits in this game. So like 50 levels is your main uh, and main objective, like especially at the beginning of the new seasons, whenever there is a reset, uh, every, every hero's level is getting to 30. So like you have a job to do, especially if you are fighting with a couple of legions, right? That means like, for example, myself, uh, this season I had to level up my Nico and Kinara, my Syndrome and Fragar, my Walder and Welin and my Craig and uh, Thea. That's my uh, four legions which I'm fighting with in general. That's why there is a like, lot of work uh, here to do because uh, like experience books you are using on one hero until it cannot be 50 and like there is not much of experience books in this game. Uh, and of course like you have to make a decision. Uh, Darklings is giving you experience, Forts is giving you some books and some treaties. So like um, you have to make a decision there. Currently, like uh, until I won't gonna have max level on my heroes, I'm not gonna spam forts in general. That's like a first and one of the main uh, steps in order how to be ready for the war. And after that, we are going to simply the policy section. As I said, uh, like it's pretty easy uh, to fight with like one or two legions, but if you want to get some merits in this game, you need you have to be able to fight for a long time because like. It's impossible for a tier 4 player to send like 3 or 4 legions and to have like millions of merits, right? Uh, and everything that is connected to your hospital and to your uh, like in general uh, legions uh, troop, troop size, right? Uh, the best way in this game to have uh, more troops and have a better hospital is in general policy section. Here there is like a couple of uh, main uh, skills you need to research in order for you to be uh, ready for the fight. For example, uh, military expansion, which is giving you a percentages legion capacity, like the, it's one of the most unique uh, stat buffs in the game, uh, like in all around the game. So, like always, your main objection objective should be to upgrade military expansion one uh, and military expansion two. Now, meanwhile, like the, the secondary and the not the like most important uh, policies here is of course hospitals, right? Like, uh, for example, uh, medical supplies, daily elixir production, you have to have it, right? Like, this is your, like, key currency in order for you to be able to fight longer. Um, doesn't matter, really, against tier 5, say against tier 4. Like, generally, this is your main currency. So, more you're gonna have this daily elixir production, uh, like, elixirs in general, um, better will be for you in terms of merits, in terms of having fun in this game in general. Uh, the healthcare reform, like elixir production speed, again boost for your hospital, right? 
also we're not gonna go until um, on the last stage of the policies medical supplies uh, golden uh, like gold tier uh, elixir uh, production uh, skill uh, healthcare reforms uh, like even better one uh, getting more speed so generally this uh, like uh, elixir uh, skills and the military expansion uh, skills are the main priority whenever you are speaking about war and policies right uh, if you are a tier 5 tier 5 player and you generally like have a tons of resources in this game uh, you will be using of course samely as a elixir production speed uh, like dairy resource healing right like resource healing is especially good for a tier 5 players who are already on the end game they don't have to have so many resources to upgrade stuff because they already did it right but for tier 4 player i i wouldn't recommend to use resources for the healing of the troops uh, that's why this is in my opinion two main priorities in the policy section for the war uh, military expansions and the elixir uh, production free elixir production uh, skills to analog uh, heroes and policies are generally one of the main uh, aspects on how you can be ready uh, for the uh, battlefield uh, and like when we spoke about policies i said about um, hospital elixirs and as i said uh, this uh, building which is hospital uh, is your home whenever you are a fighter in call of dragons you are playing around around your um, hospital how much units you have how much time you need to heal those units this is the maximum in, in one day how much elixirs i will be getting uh, here is generally every six to seven hours uh, that's the maximum limit uh, for the six hours so every single detail which is uh, you, which you can see here every number is important whenever you are fighting here you can choose which type of um, troops you want to heal maybe you are generally marksman main like me and you prefer always to heal your marksman you can always do it right uh, regarding like resource healing as you as i said uh, that's more for the tier 5 players uh, because uh, tier 4 players need those resources in order to progress in the game because later you are going to your research tab or your constructions more and more resources is needed for you to be uh, like able to uh, research them or build some uh, construction that's why still like maybe there is a urgent situation for your alliance and you have been attacked only like like in critical situations you can use your um, resources for uh, <clears throat> healing your troops and another way is like maybe roots of war you are like close to winning and uh, your alliance will say okay everybody let's use the resource healing and you will be doing that like in any other situations like for example whenever i'm fighting if i have like 700,000 uh, severely wounded troops i generally stop until them i'm like i'm fighting in some cases i even stop at 1 million several like wounded troops like then i understand that i need to wait for two to three days uh, in order to be able to fight again right but there is a one way in this game how you can make this hospital uh, run faster and heal your troops in a much much faster ways uh, like two seasons ago like it was a new introduction to this game before like in season one it had a different use uh, mainly for stories but uh, like after the villages came to this game now we got another way how we can get prepared for the war especially our hospital like villages and hospital is connected of course you can uh, like generally whenever you capture a village and raid the village uh, there is different kind of buffs you can get but in my opinion the best and most important ways of utilizing the villages is to get as much hospital stuff uh, as possible currently i have uh, 12 villages out of 15 i'm still getting uh like a couple of them pretty soon so and my villages buffs are here right elixir production 6500 uh, elixir capacity limit um, like 30500 and of course whenever you are starting the game it's always fine to have some hero experience villages um, especially because it's quite tough to always find the elixir stuff and these hero experience villages will help you to level up your heroes to the maximum level to 50 at least which was like the 
target for us which i already spoke in the beginning of the video um still like i think uh, elixir production stuff and the hero experience is the best especially if you are starting the season if not uh, like if you already have your heroes maxed out you can always go for resource healing and uh, of course the main priority will be elixir production and elixir capacity like the best way for you to find out which kind of villages you will be able to uh, take you're gonna click here and you will see here which kind of villages your alliance uh, has territory inside and if you want to maybe choose one of them like um, this green uh, marker says that i already captured that village and generally, if uh, if you won't gonna see marker here, which means it means you have you can freely take it, you're gonna click on this location, and the game will automatically send you to the village. And the, simply you need to drag your units here, and you will be able to capture it. Like I can demonstrate right now, and I will be getting this level six village for the elixir capacity limit. In general, like higher level you're gonna have see on the village, uh, the better. Uh, uh, the darkling will be stronger uh, of course we need to remember that uh, like uh, it costs stamina for heroes whenever you are capturing your village like 40 stamina per uh, hero so like like you need to know it in advance because sometimes uh, like you can send your legions you're gonna click on the darkling and it will say you don't have enough stamina uh, in order to capture the village it's pretty simple, you will like, as soon as we're gonna destroy this uh, small, uh, little strong Darkling, we will be able to have this uh, village and it will add to our hospital, which is like main uh, point of, uh, of fighting to have a strong hospital in order to be able to heal your troops uh, faster uh, and uh, to be uh, able to fight more for a long time in order to have like millions of merits it's always a great uh, uh, feeling whenever you are tier 4 player and you have like uh, three four five million merits it says that you are actually playing this game and you are not just a farmer right like you will always have a different respect in this game whenever you are a fighter because everybody under yeah you can see we just captured the village elixir capacity limit 2500 this is how capturing um, the village actually works uh, like I hope uh, this uh, guide will be helpful for you uh, because without uh, villages, without policies, without maxed the heroes uh, and without knowing how to work around with your hospital uh, will be really really rough for you. You won't gonna enjoy wars in general and you might lose the interest in this game but on the flip side I think if you understand this uh, couple of steps and you are fighting you like in general call of dragons has a best combat gameplay in this game so you are not enjoying the main aspect of this game that's why uh like the idea behind this video is, is for you guys to know how to have fun in this game whenever you are fighting because like farming and uh, uh, gathering and upgrading research building construction so like you can find the, those kind of aspects and features uh in like in the many different games right like the fighting gameplay is one of the best in this game i hope you're gonna mm, try it out at least and you will see how it will be help helpful for yourself during wars and in general if you like the content uh, if you like the videos i'm trying to make press like subscribe uh, it always gives me more and more motivation to make a more beautiful content uh, for you guys i hope you are having an amazing day uh, this was like the best um, ways which I find out to be uh, ready uh, for the war. Um, like and another and last um, uh, like uh, feature which will help you to be uh, more ready, which I just remembered actually, which is quite good, is mana stones, right? Mana stones are like um, items which you can get in this game. Uh, like they are generally around the behemoths which you captured maybe or maybe you will see some monsters here which you're gonna gonna have a like weird marker like a couple of them uh, you will just kill them and they will drop some stones for example uh like right now it's in a timing of my server whenever there is no such a things uh because they just disappeared like um, maybe as i know every uh, yeah finally this is mana stones right uh, whenever you're gonna 
get like gather these mana stones it will be effective for eight hours and every single mana stone is giving you different buffs uh, like uh, for example this one is giving you gathering speed seven percent and also like you can fight uh, you can find some fighting mana stones such as like legion attack uh, legion defense uh, well, not legion defense legion hp for example right even march speed uh, there is like couple of ways which mana stones will be good for your exact situation for example if you are tier 4 player and you will be fighting mainly against tier 5s uh, legion hp is a great way to you know, fight against uh, tier 5s you like generally that's the a uh, great way to stay alive uh, with uh, HP bonus. But if you are fighting against tier 4 players such as you, like you are a tier 5, tier 4 player, Legion Attack is a nice uh, mana stone, like 7%. If you're gonna find 7% mana stone for Legion Attack, uh, you will be pretty happy about it because you will be dealing a lot of damage to tier 4s. But uh, if you are fighting against tier 5s, Legion Attack won't gonna do much because they have way higher. And like defense and HPs in their legions so like in my own experience against tier 5s um, HP bonus from the mana stone is great against tier 4s um, <clears throat> uh, attack mana stone is better um, that's all like I, I hope I'm not forgetting anything in, in this case I hope you like the video I hope you're gonna give me your opinions and I hope you, you will uh, be having a great and amazing day morning or night wherever you are I'm gonna see you very very soon. Bye bye and good luck.